I got an idea. There's more to life than just eBay. And uh, I haven't done this since I've been to South Carolina because you might have noticed i uh, got an odd sense of humor. And uh, South Carolina and I kind of disagree on what's funny. I used to go into Craigslist barter section all the time, trade one thing for another, and end up with all kinds of neat crap. And I think it's time to do that again. Because you see this wall of spam behind me? It's not there by accident. I've been collecting cans of spam for a while. Um, because my mind sees um, that dark passageway off to the side on the road of life and goes, let's go there. And if you've seen my videos, you know, um, things don't always um, end up where you think they're going to. Anyways, so here's the plan. We're going to take 10 cans of Spam and one can of um, habanero almonds. Mm. Don't ask me. Long story. List all of that for trade. Trade for what? I don't know. At the end of the episode, I'll do another bit where I will go through all of the spam email that I got. <coughs> yeah, it's one of those little dark passages of life that most people don't. They go, nah, let's not go there. Yeah, spam email about spam. And hopefully, I will be able to show what I traded the spam up to. Who knows what it'll be? But one thing is, it's probably going to be interesting. Stay tuned. We got spam. There's the first find of today. I don't know if it's sterling or if it's uh, stainless. I don't have a magnet on me. I don't even have a tecker today. So I'll take that and we'll check it later. Just out walking. It's been rough going for sure. It's plastic bead. That, that's too bad. There is some older glass in through here. So have to see. Okay, I'm confused now. That sure the hell looks like a tunnel bottom to me. Like uh, <clears throat> 1850s, 1860s. I don't know. It's the right color for it too. It's rough in here. I might have to go back and get detected. Well, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Not metal detecting, but the G2. So far, lots of modern and uh, a couple of Older bottle caps so far, nothing exciting except maybe a key. It's kind of neat. Nice. Yeah, I'm running out of daylight here a bit, but uh, I'm not filming as much as I want. But look at that. That is a cute little foil pressed, I don't know, maybe brass choo choo train. Interesting. Well, I was getting ready to move on to a different area here. There's a 40 cent Wheatie. Getting square nails, condom wrappers, zinc pennies, Wheaties. I mean, this this is all mixed up in here. It's amazing. Wow. I'm pulling square nails and zinc out of the same hole, and then right there's a flat button. <laughs> it's amazing. The Scotty dog from Monopoly. I don't know. That's kind of neat. I'm getting ready to wrap it up though, because. I ain't finding shit. Okay, I think this is gonna suck. I have deep green coin of some kind, I think. Is it an Indian? I have no idea. My luck is gonna be like a 1980 memorial. Let me dig into it a little bit. I'm not seeing anything. It's a fat coin too. Let me check on it real quick. No clue yet. Uh, I'll 
to it. I'm going to scrub it down. But I think it's going to be a Lincoln. I can see a rim. It is a coin. It's real sick. Okay, I'm back out today with the IDX. Second hole. That's definitely a coin. I'm betting a nickel. It's all crusty up. What do you think it's going to be? Oh, not a nickel. It is a junk metal ring. That is awesome. That is totally awesome. Wow, I thought that was going to be a coin. That's very cool. Got a ton of junk, but look at that. That is a gorgeous flat button. Uh, I don't know what the name on the back is, but it's just amazingly huge. There's got to be an old coin out here somewhere. Here's an odd looking artifact just sitting right on top. What the hell is that? You know what that is? <clears throat> Looks like part of an old lead seal. Interesting. Okay, I'm sure this time. That is definitely a coin and it's not a Jefferson. What is it? Is it going to be a buff? Oh, it's a buff. Yay. <clears throat> Boy, that's really uh, <sighs> flat buttons and buffaloes. <sighs> okay. It's not a bad looking coin now. Well, it looks like I got me a key. Sticking right out of the ground. Yeah. It's busted. Oh well. Now there's an exciting find. Live. 30 30. 30 odd 6. I don't know. Uh, it's dated 51, so I wonder if that bad boy will go off. That'd be awesome. Hey, yeah, it's me. I figured it was about time. I was getting a little wolf manny there. Eh. I spend my days editing videos and digging holes in the ground. Looking pretty isn't always high on the agenda. Anyways, looks like we've got some more construction going on, and I know these park constructions are boring, but they're bringing in new dirt and new old stuff, and I didn't... Let me hit this wall and see what I can find. It's been rough, but look at that. Bet me that's a marble. Yay. It's like an old cat's eye, though. That's still cool. Wow. Yeah, I have my doggy friend here. Look at that, Dougie. That's a buffalo. Aww. It's a 1927. Very unexpected find. It's been bad. This black stuff is different from this stuff. It's different from that stuff. And it is a confusing mess in here where they've dug all this. I'll keep working it. Check it out. I think I have silver coin number five for the year. That's definitely looking like it. 45. And it's a 45p. That is my fifth silver coin. Awesome. Wow, oh, there's another actually cool find. Not a Zippo, for sure. Very nice, tall hole. Very nice. It is all together. Looks like some corrosion there in the back. Very cool. I love cigarette layers. Well, it's definitely the day for buffaloes. That's number two. That is a 1936. I got two, and they both got dates. Wow, that's exciting. I got three nickels today. No Wheaties so far. Very weird. Wow. That was a rough week, folks. Okay. Uh, we tried the Craigslist thing, remember? That didn't work out so well. Because, I don't know. As I said, um, South Carolina and I have a different sense of humor. I got one email on my spam, and that was to cancel my listing because it said spam in the title. You gotta love the 21st century, folks. You can't sell spam because it's spam. Right! Okay, so we're gonna do something different with the spam. I'm just trying to catch up here. 
On top of that, eBay has canceled my account because they have concerns I'm not who I say I am. I've had the account for two years. It's in good standing. All the fees have been paid up. Um, so, obviously, you, you can't have that. All right, so they shut down my account. Uh, I went through all kinds of uh, stressful little moments there trying to figure out what next. I thought about writing my own site, but you know what? I'm just too damn lazy to write my own website. Yes, I could do it. But I mean, seriously, SQL? Do you know how much beer I would have to drink to write an auction site and do all the SQL work? No. I finally, today, finally found one of the other auction websites, and I think we can use this one, uh, because the object of, the, of this show is not for me to sell my crap to you. Uh, it is to find out what my crap is worth on the open market. Uh, yes, it's, it's wonderful that you guys like this stuff and, and want some of it. That's awesome. I'm down with that, obviously. But more importantly, I want to know what it's worth to the rest of the world. Beyond just you and me, you know? I mean, we got a good thing going here. Let's not screw it up with junk. So, uh, onlineauction.com. Got some links. So the six, six, six from last week, they got canceled. They're going back up to last night, Monday night. They're going back up on uh, onlineauction.com. Uh, if you go ahead and open up your free bidder account, don't do the pay better account unless you really are into onlineauction.com if you go ahead and sign up and do some some bids with these guys please leave me comments below and let me know what you think of the site it looks pretty simple pretty straightforward um, the, the fees are vastly reduced over what they were which is awesome it's eight bucks a month to sell as much as you want and I'll get to that soon uh, I think we, we need to go take this a little farther. One thing at a time, I got a lot of shit going on. So anyways, we're still doing the contest, right? So we've got the, the No Scratch Musician's Belt, which is seriously awesome. We've got the Technetics Gold Digger's Pick. That's a great tool to have. Uh, this week, I'm going to be adding an item of my own. My shelves don't fall down. I'm going to add a fresh, brand new copy of my book, The Treasures of Charleston, The Lost Treasures of Charleston. Excellent resource about lost and found items from the newspaper from 1873 to 1923. There are lost gold coins in this book. Yes, there are people reported where and when they lost gold coins. It's in here. Gold rings, necklaces, you name it. People reported losing it. I got records. Anyways, um, remember, we get, we're gonna do three episodes, three chances to win. So in this episode, I don't know. Leave me a comment about something and that'll count as your second entry and don't let me forget if you guys have posted my video links anywhere else leave me a message so that I can give you an extra bump an extra contest entry in the super awesome contest <sighs> yes I know I found a few stupid little things this week we'll clean that up next week I want to put these six up and let's see how onlineauction.com is going to work. Uh, like I said, I don't know. I know I remember them from years and years ago. I tried to, I did sell a couple of things with them years and years ago. I don't know what they're like now. 
So let's just put these six out and we'll deal with everything in next week's episode. Alright folks, I'm out of here. It's been, a, it's been a hard week. I still got lots of editing to do. So, I'll see you guys.